and the original Makita box, no less. Hmm, hit your 5000K. Old one too. Metal box, an actual old plastic insert as well. Year 2000. Little tea bag. No bang. See if we can strip it out and see what the problem is. Start with the grease. See if there is any. It's not too bad. Still oily. That's the problem. Far too slack. That o ring's gone. That one's gone. That's another problem. That o ring's gone too. That's a problem. That's that needle bearing. Starting to fall apart. So we need to replace that corn rod, replace the needle bearing. Everything else will need a clean out. So this is your piston for making your compression. That's your striker or your hammer that goes back and forth. It actually hits the striker down in here. That's what we hex boy down at the very bottom. That's the striker. It hits your chisel, so the striker can just go back and forth. Now check. Make sure it moves. This one is not moving. So that's actually the problem. They may be worn out, maybe making the hammer weak. But that striker's seized inside of there, so it's not moving. So it doesn't matter how much they go back and forth, they're not shifting that striker. Strap this end out as well. So this tool holder end is actually threaded onto this aluminium housing here. So it has to be unscrewed. So you can clamp the square end on the vise. But you need to grip this as well to turn it. So we'll make you to do a special tool for it. Or you can just scrap off a chisel, weld it together, make a lever. So you need to get her clamped up on a vise. Vise holds it. This cloth just to support it. I'll not turn this on its own. They are on tight. You need to get yourself a lever. And you'll still not turn that. Also you get yourself some heat. Still not budging. yourself a bigger lever. <sighs> they are tight. Yeah. That's not budging. That is jam solid. Can't get it off. Mm, I've got to scrap one out here. There's a 
pipe. There's a head. That's your drive, that's what's up in your chisel. Left hand thread, so don't cross thread it. Put it in nice and gentle. Should go on smooth. Tighten that up in the vice then so that the rest of it built. On Makita, hit your 5000K, up and running again. Change that here head and the hammer pipe inside for second hand ones. Not a hope of getting that thing air off. Jam solid. It's actually bust. We makeshift, makeshift tool for taking that head off. Have to re weld that. So, yeah. That wouldn't matter anyway. Striker inside is, or the hammer bolt is actually bust inside. That head's probably going to be destroyed. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that. The splines have actually tore through the hammer pipe, so that would have needed to be changed too. 
but then second hand parts gets it running again and gets some old stock of ours used up as well so one one for both give us a like and a follow if you like the content lads like these two repairs